about 86 for Kansas City, and most of us are going to see those highs in the middle to upper 80s. So 86 again in KC, Lawrence at 88, St. Joe, Maryville, middle to upper 80s, along in Trenton, Chillicothe, Marshall, and Sedalia, highs right around 86 to 87 degrees. Overnight, not quite as cool as the temperatures that we are seeing this morning. Still, I would expect us to drop back into the middle 60s for most of us. So about 66 here in the metro, Lawrence 65, Paola and Butler both at 63, and then lower 60s in our eastern communities. Just a few clouds around overnight. Tomorrow, we are going to see a chance for maybe a few morning showers. Otherwise, we'll have a lot of dry time on your Sunday. So I wouldn't go changing your plans. Look for a partly cloudy sky, light south wind, highs just a touch warmer, reaching those upper 80s. So about 87 here in the metro, 89 in Lawrence, 87 for St. Joe, and 86 degrees in Maryville. Nothing out of the ordinary for this time of year. Let me show you what's going on on satellite and radar. That we have had a few very small showers and rumbles of thunder off to the north and west of Lawrence. Otherwise, most of the area is dry. And looking just off to our west across parts of central Kansas to Oklahoma, a few high clouds. Otherwise, conditions are pretty quiet. So we are mainly dry to start your morning. Farther north and west, we've got little waves of energy diving to the south and east, moving through the Dakotas and Nebraska. This energy is going to try to make its way in a little bit later on today, then again as we get into early Sunday. And what that means for us is that we may see some rain chances here later on today, tomorrow morning, possibly tomorrow afternoon as well. Let me show you that with future scans. So as we go from 6 o'clock this morning, heading for your morning hours, just a few clouds out there looking relatively dry. Going from lunchtime into the afternoon, maybe an isolated shower or storm. As you can see here, most of us are going to stay dry. Through the late evening, not a whole lot going on for us. But after midnight, heading into early Sunday morning, there's that little wave of energy. So maybe some showers around, especially for our northern communities north of the river. The better chances tomorrow morning. And then we may see an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. But again, I think most of us are going to be dry. Next seven days, we do have some better rain chances moving in as we get towards the middle of next week. Highs start creeping up as well into those upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Low temperatures closer to 70. Thunderstorms likely Wednesday into Thursday with highs in the mid-80s on Thursday.